Okay. Mesivat Yerush Shemayim. Okay. We're holding on Chavez. Chavez in the Nesiva uh, Solom. He said that Yerushamayim is baseline for every Jew. So Moshe Rabbein says, Moshe Rabbein says, What is Hashem asking? He's asking something which is just, just basic to who you must be. Ki mishe lo yiro enu And he says, it's not a tosefis. You know, a person's a chosid, that's something in addition. Tzadik means you have to do everything correctly. Chosid is beyond tzadik. A person who's not a Yorish Shemayim, he's deficient in his profile of, of what a human being is supposed to be. I'll give you an example. A person is very mediocre. Okay, so he touches upon everything he should be, but he's mediocre. You have a person who's a thief, a criminal, right? That's already sub. He's less than the baseline. Yerushamayim is baseline. If not a Yerushamayim, it's a problem. Then you're less than the baseline. It's lacking in, in, the, in, in the integrity of what a human being is. It's not the Jew, not you. That's, that's Odom. For a Jew, that's, that's a basic qualification to be classified as Odom. Being Yor Shemaim, know who your master is. Of course, the different various levels of knowing who your master is. The levels of sensitivity. But not to recognize who your master is. It's lacking in, in who you are. Then you're not a subject. A subject doesn't recognize me. He's not a subject. He, he does his own thing. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Hashem is not asking you should be more. You know, it's like a person, you know, he's taught just the basic uh, functions of a human being. They said, you know, it's too complicated. You want to be a human being? You have to do certain things which are just basic to every human being. A parent teaches a child. It's too difficult. It doesn't make a difference. You have to learn it. You have to be taught it. You have to be trained in it. You have to be conditioned in it. He's lacking in a main component of what a human being is. Right, bread is the staple of life. Right, a person has bread. You say, you know something, you're a rich man. A person that has bread is a rich man. That's the staple of life. Without bread, you can't live. So you don't see yourself, even though a person do, n doesn't have, and now he has, he's fortunate that he has, he's able to maintain himself. But you don't look at him as what? Let's say everybody would have bread. And some people eat, some people choose not to eat it. Okay, so the one chooses not to eat, he's a fool. Because bread is the staple, you have to maintain yourself. Rakim chose lechem ozvadi chose dovagodl shein lechem shuchiyuso. But if you don't have the bread, so then you're lacking a basic uh, survival element. That's what he says. What is that Shem asking you? If you have it, it's not a big deal. But if you don't have it, there's something very essential which is lacking your, your being. So it's worthwhile going after. That's what he's saying to them. It's worthwhile trying to pursue. Avol, it's a Moshe Elo Yiro. Vein Roy Lios below Yiro, Bevadi Yom and Mashem Hashem, Shol Mi Imoch, Kim Liro. Shem Vakish Dovish Nikro to Sevis Klau, Rak Dovish Roy Mukhuyev. Moshe Rabbein is telling you firsthand that what Yiro is a basic a component of being, 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 being a, a Jew. Basic. To acquire it may be difficult. But factually, it's not considered a big deal. Now, everybody's dishonest, you're honest. Oh, that's a phenomenal accomplishment. That's, that's what you should be. That's so basic to be an honest person. I gave the example. I deserve a bonus because I didn't steal. For that, you want a bonus? That's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be honest. If you, I know how dishonest the other people are, they'd be fired. 
So, again, that's Yerushalayim. Except Moshe, to acquire it is a big, a big deal. To, tremendous to acquire it. But the, the necessity of having it, it's, it's, not a, it's not, once you have it, it's not a big thing. It's, it's a basic element. Interesting. What are people, they're very lax in their observance of Judaism. What's the reason? What do you say, Ernie? Why are people lax in, in, in Yiddishkeit? Why are they lax? No, no, no. No, no. Because it doesn't make a difference. Because really, if I do, I'm basically, I, I do basically everything. And if I don't do it perfectly, it's okay. It doesn't make a difference. So they think they are that even though they don't do it perfectly. Because it doesn't make a difference. But if you don't understand that it does make a difference, then you do it right. It's only because themselves, they want to be modern Orthodox. Well, be considered, be reformed. No, that's not being Jewish. That's not behaving like an observant Jew. I'm an observant Jew. You're not doing it ex perfectly? It doesn't make a difference. That, that, that's, that's the mindset. Nobody wants to see himself as an irreligious Jew, right? Otherwise, you, be, you could be conservative, you could be reformed. So that's the whole idea. But if they would understand that not doing it, do it the way they do, they're really deficient, and they're not what they think they are, then they would do it right. Same thing with Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim, you see, oh, that's being like a holy man. No, that's basic. Hashem expects that that's basic to being a Jew. For the subject to recognize his master. Because a Jew is a subject of a master. To be continued. You get it? Exactly. We're not talking about how you get there. That we'll talk about. It's focus. It's you have to first look. You know, okay. it's, it's distraction. That's what it is. It's distraction, but it's more than distraction. Yeah, you, you have to be able to internalize. Even if you think about it, if you don't internalize it, it doesn't mean anything. He's the man. on the subject. Therefore, so what? So we're, 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 where's the closest shop suey restaurant? You understand? <laughs> so he's the man. on this. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it has to be. You have to have a capacity to to internalize that reality. That, that that's that's God la Talmud Talmud Mevi Limas. That's why you have to study Torah. Torah is the tenderizer. That t gives us the capacity to absorb and to internalize the, the why why we should do things and sense the importance of it. But you don't study, doesn't doesn't resonate with you. Right. So you, you, you just you can study for a week. You can learn Torah for a week straight and then take. Short sure, fate starts fading out. Yes, so it's, it's not like something that. So you have to learn Musa. There are many yeah. things. I mean, that's what Rabbi Shol Salanter said. You know, that's what he said. He, Rabbi Shol originally came to Volozhin and suggested that Rabbi Chaim Brisker should institute a Musa session in Volozhin. So he said, he says, he says, Musa is like medicine. If you're sick, you need medicine. If you're healthy, you don't take medicine. Learning Gemara is enough. You know. Afterwards, he realized he made a mistake. He made a mistake because it was closed. It was closed down because of the masculine. You know, people were involved intellectually, but the the godliness of Torah didn't touch them. So therefore, they they went and formed to the government. You know that this is you know we want secular studies because the Musa then the Torah ter becomes more than just intellectualism. It becomes the Dvar Hashem. It becomes Dvar Hashem. Then it then it affects affects you differently. Sure. There was a th there was a fifth they column. They, they were there right, exactly, and that's that's what that's what we so originally suggested. He says no, Torah itself can do it on its own. So Rabbi Chaim made a mistake. Afterwards, he realized that that, that, that Rabbi Soslant was was correct. No, er, 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 we do. We, we, you realize it. You realize it. You know it. Still, so why? Why? We just learned it. D do you feel uh, tremendous Yerushalayim? It's it, it's it's a reality. It's not just a, a concept. It is reality. But that was the Maharal's first name. 
it's not a real, if it's a reality, we'd behave differently if it's a reality. Yeah. No, you have choice, but you always the choice is always to maintain that clarity, right? Because you'd always slip. You could always become unfocused. So that that that's that's choice. It's a battle. It's an ongoing battle. Ongoing battle. No question. No. Every every moment.